Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I have a short little make ahead for you today. This is not my idea. This is nothing new. Lots of people have been doing this for years. I just thought I would remind you of it if you hadn't thought about it before. And that is we can decoupage our buttons with little bits of napkin and really change the way they look. How cool is that? And these are just little scraps that are normally left over, you know, when we, we trim them off before we put them on a tag or something. And we've got leftover pieces that are just big enough for a button. And you're going to get a lot of different effects depending on what color your button is. Works really nice on buttons that have the shank back instead of the holes in the center. That'd be a really nice closure. This was kind of a bright blue. So it kind of toned it down. So I'll just show you what I do. Uh, I've got a white button here, and I not everybody likes to do this. I like to, if possible, I like to try and cover the sides. That doesn't always work. Now, I, I have some that, you know, were total flubs, just to show that I don't always get it the way I want it. So I tend to like a little bit bigger than my button so that I've got room to come down the sides. And I've got some matte medium here and of course if you wanted something glossy or what have you you could go over those with a glossy finish but I'm gonna get one of my trusty little glue brushes and put some on there first and it's kind of fiddly for me at least you might be better at manipulating your buttons than I am, but part of the process. And I tend to not poke through the holes until everything is dry, because otherwise I find that I'm ripping my napkin. I probably have too much napkin under there, so it's going to mean I'm going to have to file some of that off. I would have made this a little bit smaller, but I can't really do anything about it now because it'll just rip it across the top of the button. It's already going translucent in spots there. I think that's translucent. Yeah, it's not, it's not ripped. <laughs> So I would consider that good enough to let dry and I kind of run my hands along the sides very easily to get those edges down. And then I'm just going to let that dry. Oops, it's already coming up on the sides. Maybe see if I can get a little more glue over there. And I think that's going to be fine. <clears throat> and then what I do when they're dry, I've got a couple here I know that aren't done. Let's take a needle. Oops, take the pointy end down. You could use your pokey tool. And I just go through it like that. You can also, uh, if you're really coordinated, which would not be me, you can you know hold them on a needle like this and do your glue around them. But again, to me, that puts one more tear in the napkin when it's wet, and that just makes it a lot more liable to, to rip across your button, and then you'll end up with some of those fails. And then if you've got rough edges, let's find one that I haven't cleaned up yet. Like this one's got a little bit of rough edges there. I just take, whoops, what did I do with my emery board? <laughs> well, I take that little filing thing that I don't seem to have. Oh, there it is. Handy. And I just go around it, and you could use some sandpaper. And the back edges, same thing, just until it's the smoothness that you want. And again, you can go over the top with something glossy and have some pretty little buttons to use in your ephemera and journal making. That's it. That's all I have for you. If you have done this uh, and you want to tell me about it, please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.